everybody. I am Lina with Ape Tech STEM Tutorials. Today, I am here to tell you guys that I'm going to continue my videos. I know I have taken a break. It's been an interesting 2021, but we're in 2022. So I have some plans for the community. I want to share a lot of the concepts that I've learned of programming and the different um, things like loops, statements, variables, and things like that through Scratch and teach you the concepts of programming. So those are my plan for 2022, as well as show you some tutorials and kind of build things as we go along. So uh, definitely follow and like us. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys a lot of things. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, everybody, let's get started with our first most basic program. Our first most basic program is the program that everybody out there learns, which is Hello World. So I'm going to teach you how to do Hello World in Scratch and kind of guide you and explain to you why we do Hello World. So the first thing we're going to do is build a program. So this flag here, this block here is our flag. And this is what executes our program. So this tells our program, when I click the green flag here, I want you to execute. So that's what it does. Now to make our sprite here, our character, which is known as a sprite, say hello world, we have to go to this area that says looks, and we're gonna get say hello. I'll show you right now what the hello for length and number of seconds does, but let's go with this one first. So let's type hello world here. And a fun fact, the first hello world actually had, I think it was something like this with no exclamation. This was the first hello world. So now let's go ahead and execute it by clicking on the green flag. And as you can see, our sprite says hello world. So now let's go try the other say, and I'll show you what does. So now we're going to put the other say here and we're going to say hello world with exclamation so you can see that it actually changes. So now that we have that say hello world for two seconds, let's click on our flag. And as you see, our cat's bubble that's disappears, so it's no longer there. So that's the difference between the two says. One of them will keep it forever and the other one will make it disappear. So now going to the history of Hello World, which was the thing that I've always wondered because Hello World is in every single language I've learned. It's like the first program you see. Uh, it was first introduced in um, Bell Labs from what I've been reading. And it became famous when it was put in this book. So I believe I have this book somewhere. I just can't find it kind of have a collection of books. Um, I might have it at uh, my old place, but I need to find it. And if I do find it, or maybe I've seen it, but I do remember seeing this book. But anyway, this is the book that made the, the Hello World famous, and it has been used since, according to this reading, it has been used since 1972, but it became more well known in 1974. And now, these are different ways of writing Hello World in the most popular languages out there. Right now, the number one most popular language is Python. And as you can see, it's very simple. It just You just have to print it out. So the reason we use Hello World for our first programming language, from what I've been doing research on, is because we want to be able to test a simple program with our environment to make sure that it runs. And that is the whole purpose of Hello World, is to make sure that we are able to run a program with multiple characters in our environment. Because if it, we are not able to, then that means we're either missing libraries or some installation didn't go correctly, or there's something wrong with our syntax. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am very glad to be able to share with you what I have learned and uh, the importance of this hello world. I look forward to 2022 and sharing the knowledge that I have with you guys to be able to inspire you guys to become engineers as I have. And um, just looking forward to building a community with you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more. See you guys. Bye.